In this film we're going to be looking at some simple techniques to make your eyes pop in a portrait and uh, we're going to come back into Photoshop but uh, very very quickly just so you can see what we're doing here we just created a quick new layer and then basically we painted in some white with a soft brush turned that layer to an overlay and instantly we've made it kind of pop. I'll just show you how to do that in a minute. First of all though um, I would recommend obviously if we're working in RAW uh, most of the time then that's where we should actually be doing the, the basic enhancement. So let's just kind of take four images, RAW images and just open these up. So just uh, selecting them and then just file open in camera RAW or control R and obviously it's usually in the raw processor that we'd be doing the majority of the kind of the fixes the corrections and so on but we should also be looking at raw as the first stage of enhancement where possible and I don't necessarily mean like uh, we've done here of adding a kind of a softness in so you can see I'm just using the texture slide uh, slider and that has added a, a softness to the skin tone anyway that's the kind of thing we should be doing in the likes of Photoshop unless we're showing the client a quick fix straight away. The, the main thing here is we're talking about making those eyes pop and you can see already we've got good color in the eyes on both sides. The light is coming from above. One light, uh, eye obviously is shielding with the light a little bit more because it's on the slightly more of the shadow side. Whereas this right eye, as we look at them, is 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 pretty good anyway. But if I want to just add a little bit more pop in towards the image, just pick up the adjustment brush. Um, obviously, we've done the basic corrections, I would say, anyway. But then pick up the adjustment brush, create a, a bit of a small brush. So I'm just using the left and right brackets to increase or decrease the uh, brush size. And then all I'm going to do is over on the right hand side here, if first of all, I just click onto the either the minus or the plus of the exposure, it resets everything else below. And uh, what it's done now is put in a half a stop exposure change here at the top, as you can see. So what I'm going to do is actually, first of all, I'm just going to paint on the actual eye. And then if I just drastically increase it, you can see the difference that that has actually done to that eye straight away with it. So if we just add that in a little bit. Let's say I didn't want it as much on the right eye because it already has good light. If I just click on new and straight away I paint in in exactly the same intensity, this right eye is always going to look brighter than the left one. So in this case, what I'm going to do is just actually tone that one down by reducing the exposure. Now, if I want to go back over to this other eye and increase its exposure just a little bit more than I can. So, of course, what we'd be doing is just working through uh, the different images. Each one would need a slightly different uh, pop of the eye because it would either be shielded uh, or not. And all I've got to do is click onto that new to actually increase or, de or decrease the amount in one eye or the other. Uh, and just as we work through, now these two images haven't been color corrected yet. So let's just select both of them together, click on the white balance tool, click onto the gray background instantly and we've white, we've white balanced. Um, this image here needs a little bit more work than the bottom image um, because of the, de uh, the detail lost in the blacks here. So not only am I going to actually add the detail into the eye, but I've got to do some overall correction. First thing we do is just kind of pick up on the shadows and just lift the shadows just a little bit. Um, the black is is kind of in its correct position in the minus eight. That's my con my contrast. But uh, what I want to do is lighten all the body. So in the same way, the adjustment brush here, if I just go and pick a slightly bigger brush now and I just paint across the parts of the body I want to lift. Um, very, very similar to we would do in the dark room. So in other words, build things up instead of trying to do them in one swoop. Uh, like I just did there, there's two different uh, amounts going on. If I wanted to add some more into the torso and the bust area, I can. Then I can just actually go in and blend things down. Um, in the same way, while I'm working on the torso here, I may as well go in and just add a little bit of Im information in towards the black there as well before I actually start to work on the eyes. So again, let's work on the eyes. Remember, adjustment brush, clicking onto the exposure, minus or plus to reset. Yes, so every, everything below would have been reset then. And at this stage, just using the left bracket to reduce the size of the brush down, 
increase the bright uh, the brightness to the amount that you want click on new then adjust the other eye independently and just tone that back a little bit next image of course back into the zoom tool and back into the brush tool again it's not quite sharp overall but we'll still apply the adjustments swiping into the eyes increasing that darker eye much much more clicking on new and then basically doing the other eye as well but just toning that back just a touch so that's how we would work as far as the raw is concerned let's just press done to that so those were the raw images but I could have done the similar thing in the likes of a JPEG file and so on those adjustments have been made so obviously if I open them up again quickly come back with the same adjust adjustments that have been saved okay so as as we can see in here if we go back in and pick the adjustment brush you can still see that it's there so you you might want to go in and say oh, in fact I want to actually make this eye a little bit brighter and I want to on this eye I also want to actually um, bring a little bit more expo exposure down the side increasing that as well and then of course you can just start to see the before and afters of what we've actually done to the image how much uh, work is being done and at this th this point if I want to kind of just see the kind of comparison um, then I can do that and, and remember all, all, all we need to do is actually kind of click on to the different uh, toggle betweens just here at the bot at the bottom okay so pressing done to that I just want to head over to Photoshop just to go through that technique I was on about to you before so um, remember all I'm going to be doing now is painting in a very very similar way so let's just delete this layer the first thing to do would be press pressing B for brush that would usually select the brush tool I want to select a soft brush okay so something like here the soft round I want to put white as the default color on top. Uh, remember, if you press D, that defaults to black on top and white, uh, white underneath. If you press X, it puts uh, white on the top. So uh, as a default, I go through BDX in kind of one almost kind of flow on the, key, uh, the keyboard to just kind of go into those uh, um, uh, re uh, resets. So um, we can see that the eye on the right here is much more dramatic than the eye on on the left and of course I could go in and basically sam sample this couldn't I so if I just actually uh, pick up uh, the stamp tool and then I'll just uh, select what I'm going to copy from so just going to select this uh, dark in fact a good focus point would be that highlight on the eye there so if I put that in the tar uh, the tar target press my alt when I do it click on to a new uh, layer now and then basically I can actually start to paint that same eye across the other image yep um, then pretty much I've mimicked and obviously then I would just go into the hide so B and D and then X to put black on the top to actually start to actually hide parts of the eye that we didn't want so there's one way to actually do an eye it wasn't the technique we were looking at to do today we're just going to select B for brush as I said D for default X to put white on top click on a new uh, layer and all I'm going to do is paint white onto the eye it's a soft brush anyway if I was using a selection I'd probably have to go in and Gaussian blur it to actually soften the edges now all I want to do is go up to the blend mode and actually click on to the likes of overlay or um, soft uh, the soft light depends on how much I want in this case it's the overlay that I'm really looking to use to give that extra little bit of pop to the eye so in the same way if I wanted to that enhance that e even more I could just go control J and duplicate that layer and then obviously start to actually just take the opacity blend mode down a little bit this eye needs a little bit as well now so again a new layer paint onto the eye itself clicking onto the overlay again reducing the opacity down fully because it doesn't need much now and pretty much we're done so you could go through a whole host of images even with kind of real dramatic photographs that we've got here with the lights coming in from both sides a bit of hatchet light lighting style if we just go into the plus and we paint onto the actual 
color of the eye. Do the same now because they're pretty much both in the dark. So I can actually do them both together. Now just going into the overlay once more. Straight away you can see how those are actually popped. So when we start to actually move out of the image to see what it does, you can see how much it's kind of really begin to actually bring some more power in and towards the eyes. So uh, again, think about whether you're going to be doing the work in the raw. First of all, I'd recommend that. But if if not, some quick fixes um, before fi final finish can be either copying one eye onto the other. So remember the technique we did with that. Getting onto the clone stamp stamp tool, creating a new layer selecting onto the eye itself, adding that eye onto the other side and basically we've done that straight away. If you didn't want to actually fake that up at all, you just wanted to bring a little bit of the, high, uh, the highlight once more, create that new layer, B for the brush, D for default, X to put white on top and then start to actually paint it on the actual colour of the eye to bring it alive, changing it back into the overlay mode to give it that pop. And that's it. That's how we can bring pop to the eye.